If there is one thing that I hear people complain about often, it is the fact that they are so overworked and underhelped and how they have to do everything themselves. And more often than not, the fact is that people simply don't or won't ask for help. Asking for help is something that turns even the most self-assured person into a nail-biting mess. And that is the focus of this video. How to learn to ask for help. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on. For the longest time, asking for help was a difficult thing for me too. Like most people, I too believe that I need to forge along, be strong and never, ever, ever, ever ask for help. The biggest reason why I was scared to ask for help was the fear of rejection. What if I ask and the person says no? Or worse, if they see my request and they ignore it? And these days, with most social media notifications, you can see when the other person has read your message. We hate appearing weak or not as good enough and so we decide to grin and bear it. I have learned that this is not one of the smartest moves. Like Les Brown says, ask for help not because you are weak but because you want to remain strong. And the monkey in our head gives us a lot more reasons to stop us from asking for help. Let me give you just a few. We assume that she must be busy or he has better things to do. Like I tell all my clients, just ask. If a person can't help, let them tell you. Personally, I have found that people love helping. It makes them feel good. In fact, studies show that the primitive brain, the same reward pathway that is activated by food and sex, it lights up in response to altruistic giving. So you see, you're allowing your helper to give you a gift of help. Accept it. The worry about appearing less than is a huge roadblock. To which I say, so what? You don't have to control everything. Sometimes, especially in big issues like an addiction, a relationship going south, money mess or health challenges, it's better to be vulnerable you may find much faster and much quicker solutions. Because the fact is, someone has already faced that problem. So why reinvent the wheel? Be smarter, heal faster. And to make you feel smarter, reframe the thought. Say to yourself that having someone to ask means that you're supported and connected. Imagine how easy it is to say, hey, I need help. I see that your marketing strategies seem to be working like magic. Can you share what you do? Or, hey, it's been a long time since I did this. Can you tell me how it works? See how easy that is? Can you help me? Can I pick your brains? I wonder if you can help me. These are magic words. People love to help. I've heard this one many a time. People fear feeling obligated to someone else. Research has shown that when you turn your response from indebtedness, barter, to gratitude, it really gives the relationship a booster shot. So next time, instead of saying, I'm really so indebted to you, say, that was nice of you. Truly, it's a game changer. Now that you're probably ready to ask for help, you still don't know how to do it, right? So that's why we need my toolbox. This tool is called the Magic 7. Now, every time you need to ask for help, Remember these seven magic words. I wonder if you could help me. And then state clearly, no mumbling. I could use some help. State what you want. I'm drained by so much of housework. I would like you to handle the dishes. Or I'm starting a new program in your city. Can you help me by sending out my marketing material to your contacts on your phone? Specific, clear, that's it. What's the worst that can happen? A no probably does nothing more than keep you in the position that you are in. But maybe, just maybe, they may say yes. If you are still hesitant, say, I'm a little uncomfortable, but I wonder if you could help me. This makes the other person gentler towards you. 
Asking for help is like exercising a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets and the further you go. Remember, no successful person ever made it on their own. I know they say that it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it takes a village to create success and happiness too. So, ask fearlessly, give generously. Share this video with your friends and colleagues. Everyone needs a little help. In my next video, I'm going to give you an interesting tool on how to say no. You don't want to miss it. Press the bell button and subscribe now.